Hey, what's up, guys? Little Luigi, welcome to Stellar, episode 3.2. The results are in for round three, and I decided to cut voting early because we actually did get a lot of votes today. Thank you to everyone who has voted. It's actually really cool that this competition worked. It was kind of just an idea in my head, but I actually came up with it uh, before watching Twow, and then immediately after, uh, I got like... I got Twa on my recommended and it told me to watch Twa Zero and, and, and it really it's inspired me to make this and it's actually a real thing so I just want to say thank you contestants and viewers for voting and uh, making this come to life. Anyway, let's move on. We got 11 votes in total but there was a few suspicious voting. I'm not going to penalize for this suspicious voting but I'm just I just want to point out Two people had the exact same vote. The contestant probably got their friend to vote for them, but uh, it's not like that's not allowed or anything. I just wanted to point it out. And there's also another suspicious one. Uh, these two two uh, accounts voted almost the same thing, but I'm not I'm not going to penalize for that. I just wanted to point it out. Uh, please, if any of you are actually voting on two different accounts, don't do that. But I doubt any of you are. I just want to say it makes the competition more fair if you don't. Anyway, it's been about a week since the last video, so the popularity contest has been updated, and here it is. It looks like Cornmeal slash Kermineal is taking over with his 18 weighted mentions, and Luna is in second, and now there's even more people that are the most unpopular, which includes Dead Person Miles, Mafia Boss, um, <clears throat> CG3K and Logan. So they're the new underdogs, guys. So, um, don't know what that means, but it's just cool. Sorry if my microphone sounded weird in the last video. There's some mess ups. I had to retake them with a, a with my computer. I had to retake them with my built in computer microphone. So it's, it's one of those sentences sounded terrible. Anyway, after this, we'll only have nine contestants left, which is actually pretty cool. Not really. I, I, it's just I want to say that every time. One person's getting a prize, and one person is going to be eliminated. And since we're going to have one person eliminated, that eliminated person is going to have a badge. I decided, I decided to start recording the ranking of everyone after each vote. So after the first vote, I recorded your rank, and then the second vote, and then the third vote, all up to when all 11 votes were made and I made a little motion graphic showing what rank you are after like a period of time so that's gonna be what shows the results so it's gonna be really intense and it's yeah just a reminder for contestants when you're giving sentences make sure they're clever original and just not not repeating or run-ons and something that the voters will like so that you won't get eliminated and also vote responsibly and i think we can now move on to results to show the cool motion graphic thingy Ooh. Looks like Cormineal H. Cragsley is first again. What? Looks like he's gonna be uh, one of the top tier people for this re for this season of Stellar. And his sentence was, "I began stuffing my face on the spot as the waitress kindly told me to have a good meal." To which I responded, "You too," in the most awkward way possible. And he had a buddy, which might which probably helped him actually. So I'm gonna make his prize a little bit less helpful to him. 
he was also the the least controversial again oh my gosh uh but there's less votes for him there's no votes for him for first and there are more votes closer to like 10th which is actually pretty surprising it's funny how the votes go four for second and three for third and then two and one it's, it's kind of cool how they count down if you saw the motion thingy graphic i don't know what to call it uh max specto was second but then i'm chuck stole second place at one point with his sentence the waiter came up to me with a large smile on her face but something was not right which which was a great start to the sentence i'm chuck good job which just proves that starting the sentence does not always have to kill you. And it wasn't really controversial, but it also wasn't the least controversial. And in third was Max Fecta, which was actually Cormoniel H. Cragsley's buddy. What? Which is why they were so close to each other. Uh, that That's just a coincidence. So when I decide who, where people's sentences are, I use a random number generator. And they just happen to be close to each other. Anyway, Max Facto's sentence, sentence was too shy to ask about it. I turned my attention to the very scrumptious looking plate of al dente pasta with carbonara sauce. Yum. Which was an okay sentence, but not okay to get first. And also, it's getting, it got pretty close to the true average 50%, which is pretty insane. And it was pretty controversial if you look at the votes on the right. So that's the podium. Now I'm just gonna be saying who's the in what rank. So we have It's Logan Avery in fourth, which said the waiter had a weird look on their face. It seemed like the sentence voted the highest were the ones that were closer to the beginning. So I don't know if that's coincidence or if it's actually better to start at the be to be at the beginning of a sentence. A story, not a sentence. Anyway, in fifth place was actually Brandon, who almost had the longest sentence and almost got 50%. But look at how many votes were closer to 10th. He got no first, second, thirds, or fourth. Sorry about that, Brandon. In sixth is Percival Von Dragon, who I'm pretty sure had the longest sentence out of all of us, but did only get six. And I, th I, th I thought a sentence was okay, but it did get pretty long, which is probably why it was voted lower. And also it was closer to the end of the sentence, which apparently makes your sentence worse. I don't know why. And in seventh was CG3K, who had an okay sentence, but these percentiles are getting actually low. 38.38%. And it also was the most controversial sentence. It had one in first and one in 10th. And look, it, it, lots of people voted it first and last. And eighth was Salt Snake with one of the short sentences, which is, is actually, as a lot of people think, it should have been in the middle. But okay, we have two contestants left to announce their rank. Either Angle or Mafia Boss is going to be eliminated. And they actually had pretty close percentiles. And in ninth place, with two votes for first, one for second, and so on, and a pretty low standard deviation is... Angle, which means Mafia Boss, sadly, is dead. And he also was apparently the last, the person, who, he was also the person who ended the story. So apparently my theory was right that uh, if you're closer to the end of the sentence, you're ranked lower, which is actually kind of sad. Mafia Boss's sentence was, I hear, I hear footsteps behind me, a loud cocking of a gun, and then a loud a bang and everything went black which is actually a pretty generic ending and it's a it was a pretty lazy way to end the story which is most likely why it got last few people voted at fourth and fifth but there's a lot of ninth place tenth place and eighth place which probably got him killed sorry mafia boss but you have to go but guess what you also get a really cool and amazing badge this one's called standing tall which is like, it combines start and end because, uh, well, I don't know if you guys know, but Mafia Boss actually started round two of the story. So, and he, and he was in the middle of the first one, by the way. So he gets a badge called Sending Tall, which means, which means you're forced to be the start or the end of the sentence a lot. And that's how he died. And this is his badge. Doesn't it look so cool? That stick figure took me hours to make, okay? Okay, so you guys better like that badge. Anyway, it's time to tell you what Cormaniel H. Cragsley's prize is. 
it is. Uh, I can't really come up with a good name for it, so I'm gonna call it Dirty Dirtying Up. So when I get all the sentences, you choose a contestant sentence to mess up, and you can either add one word to the sentence or remove one word from the sentence. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm Chucked was poisoned. Here, let me guys, let me show you guys the more data thing I made. It shows all the ranks and who has what power-ups and all the badges as well. You can also see that Kermineal has won all three rounds. So guys, you gotta make some good sentences if you wanna pass up Kermineal. This next topic is gonna be sports, so make the story about sports this time, contestants. That's all I have for this video. Bye!